In this uh, video, I want to show you how to replace a laptop screen off of uh, any Asus uh, laptop. That's Asus, A's and Apple, S-U-S. Uh, a lot of them are gaming laptops. Uh, the majority of them are 15.6 to 15.4 uh, inches, and how you measure that is from one corner to the other. But this will work with any Asus uh, laptop, uh, netbook um, that you might have. Um, it probably would even work with the, even the older ones, but right now we want to do one of the newer ones. When I say newer, we'll say within the last five, six years. Um, and so as you can see there, it's, uh, it's the screen's broken, shattered several places. And um, it's a lot easier than you would expect. I'll go ahead and unplug it. Uh, it's a lot easier than you would expect. A lot of people have the idea that, or the, or the, uh, the notion that you have to actually take the laptop apart itself. Uh, you don't have to do that. Um, you could actually just do it from the screen bezel. And first thing you want to do is take out the battery. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is the first thing you're going to do is unscrew any screws that would uh, be on the uh, the bezel. This little plastic thing that goes around the screen is called the bezel. Okay, and what you're going to do is, is you're going to take the end caps off of any screw. Okay, all Asus laptops have, of course, have screws uh, that would be adhered to the uh, the bezel. Um, there's some that have no screws, actually. I, I changed that. There's actually some that don't have any screws, and the only thing you have to do is just pop off the bezel. There's some that'll have four screws, which there'll be one here, 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 and here on each corner. And then you'll have some that's only on the very bottom, like on this laptop. As you can see there, uh, one screw, there's an end cap, and one screw here. And so what you want to do is you want to take, take the end caps off of the screws first. The only two tools you'll need is a uh, Phillips head screwdriver, a smaller one, and then like a little, you could use actually, you could use a steak knife, but I got a, a real small flathead screwdriver here. So with my flathead, I'm going to go ahead and take the end caps off, and they should just pop right off. They're on there by adhesive, and just make sure you save them. That way you can put it back on once you reassemble your laptop. There's one. And let's get this one here on the corner. And of course, if you had four screws, you would do the same thing to the two top top ones. Um, all right. Next, take the screws out. There's one, two. All right. Next, you just pop off the bezel. It's very easy, and uh, what you're going to do is you're going to use your little small, you're going to use your little small flathead. And if you have like a credit card or something, that'll help help you as well to get between those edges there. And you just want to be very careful that you don't crack crack the bezel. You know, just use common sense. So as you can see here pulling apart. You might have to sometimes lift up on it as well. But the more you get off of it, the easier it is. Alright, that came off pretty easily. Um, sometimes with the hinge right here, sometimes you actually have to lift up on it. But that pops off just nicely. So this is what I was explaining that you don't have to you don't have to physically take the palm rest off and then take the cable out and do that. It's just that's unnecessary. All right. And then what you want to do is you want to unscrew the top two. That this is the frame. The metal brackets 
is the frame that holds your screen in. And for, uh, just for information wise, this particular Asus is a um, is an X54C, as in cat, C as in cat. Alright, so we've got the two screws off here. Now what you're going to do is on the left and the right bracket, you are going to take out, there's usually about three screws there. As you can see here, there's one here and actually this one only has actually that one and there should be one here on the bottom All right. and so I'll go ahead and unscrew that one these are small so you gotta keep an eye on them side here. This one actually, a lot of them have a, will have metal brackets that go all the way around. This one actually just has four, uh, two corner brackets. You know, pr pretty much it's common sense uh, how to do it. All right, you got one ribbon. All right, most of your Asus laptops are also going to have a webcam, uh, uh, one that goes over here. If for whatever reason, a lot of times they got adhesive on it, and they're 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 basically they're sticking themselves to the back. You just got to be careful and just pull it out real careful. And make sure that and make sure that ribbon doesn't get fractured. All right, and so you got one ribbon that'll be connected, and the only thing you have to do is just take the tape off first. And this will just, only thing you have to do is just pull it off. There's a little bit of adhesive on the ribbon down here, so you pull from here. And just pull it away. And so that's your ribbon. Now here's your Berkut screen. And what you, what you want to do now um, is get the model number off of your screen. And it's pretty self-explanatory. It'll be here. This one's LTN 156 and Tom 24. And I'd recommend you do that instead of just buying one with by the model number of the Asus. So a lot of times people will they'll go online on, on Amazon or whatever and then they'll type in the model number of the laptop and they'll put screen. Well the problem is is usually you'll pay a lot more doing that. Uh, so what you want to do is actually get the screen model number. So you get this number and you can plug it in to Amazon, I'd recommend eBay. It's a real good place to get used screens. Um, and you can get a, a, a used screen like this. I've seen them as low as 30 bucks on eBay. Um, sometimes you can get them new, but I'd recommend used, you know. You're going to save a lot save a lot of money doing that way, and they usually last as long. Um, and you can always return it if it, if it doesn't work. But um, So that's what you want to do is you're going to uh, go on eBay, type in the, type in the, uh, the model number, and you know the only thing you have to do is once you get your new screen in um, you're just going to basically reverse and loop what you just did to, to take it off so once I get say this is my new screen 
I put it in there, reattach the ribbon to the new screen. It should just slide right on there. You might have to put some new tape on that. And um, you're going to re screw in the, um, the hinge. You're going to put the screws back on to the, uh, to the left and right hinges. And then um, you want to snap your bezel back on. It just snaps right on there. And um, re put the screws back in on the bezel. Put the, put the uh, caps back on, and you're all set to go. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.